In this video, we talk about getting started with the software Wireless Mom. So Wireless Mom helps us to collect the information of surrounding Wi-Fi access points. To launch the software, just double-click on the icon. So the user interface of Wireless Mom pops up immediately, but, but it will take a little while for the software to warm up. Okay. After a period of time, the software is ready to use. So there are several tabs in the interface for the project over here. And we only focus on the Summary tab. The Summary tab provides detailed information of the access point that this PC is connected to. It provides the SSID, the MAC address, and the receive signal strength of the access point. And also, there's a lower window from which we could also see other surrounding access points and we can sort them by any of those columns over here. So we can sort them by MAC address and we can sort them by RSSI which is recommended because you can easily find the access point you are connected to. So in order to take a log of all those information we have to do some configurations first. Now we go to the configuration menu and we click login and there's a pop-up window. So for this project what we need is the access point log and the connected node log and we don't need this summary log over here. And also we can set up a directory for those files. For me I would like to put them on the desktop so I do desktop for both of them and then I hit OK to go back to the initial interface. Now, in order to start logging, we gotta click this button over here. It says Start Logging. And the software will start to record all of the information. On this PC, it takes one sample every six seconds. As you can see, the, the screen flashes every six seconds. That's the time it's taking sample. And then after a period of time, when we finish recording, we hit this button to stop logging. Now we go to those log files. So log files are generated on the given directory. For this video, we put it on the uh, desktop. So we have two files. The first one is the access point log data. In this one, it contains sample number, the timestamp, uh, the SSID of the AP, the channel selected, encryption, received signal strength indicator, and MAC address over here. So you see, for this SSID wireless, uh, WPI wireless, it's using channel number six, it's encrypted, and using WPA2, the received signal strength indicator is minus 75 dB, and also you have the MAC address over here. Now, for another file, it only has the information of the connected AP. So, basically, it gives you all the information in one line. You have to manually separate them, like this. So now you see we have three samples taken at this time for this MAC address, and the receive signal strength is minus 41 dB. So, from these log files, you can focus on this MAC address to use it as the identifier for your access point, and then to use the RSSI, the Receive the Signal Strength Indicator, to do modeling and calculation. Thank you for watching this.